Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm spring cleaning my kitchen so I thought I'd share with you five places to spring clean if you're in need of a little kitchen cleaning inspiration. So let's get started with number one, decluttering and cleaning out all the cupboards. So I'm using this Method Daily Kitchen Spray with a microfiber cloth to wipe out everything. So first off, be sure to get everything out, that way you can really give the cupboards a good clean top to bottom, including all those hard to reach areas. I'm also pulling everything out the drawers, including the drawer at the bottom, so I can get right inside to clean and wipe down the usually hidden and neglected areas. In the food cupboard, I love to keep everything in these curver baskets, as they fit neatly into this corner cupboard and they're easy to pull out. Next, it's time to show the inside of the oven some love. I use this Astonish oven and cookware cleaning paste that I got in Poundland to clean the oven. This actually worked pretty well with a sponge scourer. I then um, wiped and removed the residue with a wet cloth to finish. For the wire racks I use a mix of white vinegar and water in a spray bottle to soak the racks in. I then douse them in bicarb of soda and finish with another spray of vinegar just so the solution foamed up and it could really soak into the racks. I let this rest for about 10 minutes before popping the racks into the warm water to soak as well. So while they were soaking I decided to give that awkward inside part of the oven door a thorough clean. If you have an oven like mine then the top part of the glass should be really easy to unscrew at the sides so you can get inside the bottom part of the door. I then just use my vinegar solution to wipe and clean the glass thoroughly. I also dipped a cotton bud in white vinegar as well and used this just to clean the smaller, more hard to reach areas in the oven door. For the inside of the oven, I actually found this oven liner in Home Bargains for only $1.99. This plastic lining can be cut to size and placed on the bottom of the oven to keep this clean and catch any crumbs. Finally, to clean the wire racks, I just picked up this pack of scour pads from Poundland that I actually cut in half. And this, along with the vinegar and bicarb solution, did a pretty good job at removing all the black from the racks. Then to finish, I just used my vinegar solution to wipe down the front of the oven. Next, it's on to cleaning the sinks. For this I just use again the bicarb and vinegar solution and I already had some of this on the drain when I was cleaning the racks. I use this solution along with a scarab pad to really scrub the sink and this really does a great job at lifting all the dirt from the sink especially if you have a stainless steel sink like mine. Also be sure to clean out the plug holes too as I know mine do definitely get neglected once in a while. And then finally I poured some sink unblocker down each of the plug holes and left this to work its magic. This just really helps to get rid of any unwanted food blockages. Another good spring cleaning job in the kitchen is throwing out and deep cleaning the fridge. If you have an afternoon to spare then this is a great one to do when your fridge is nearly empty. I take everything out including the shelves and sort all the food and um, throw anything out if it needs throwing out and it's out of date and then I give the whole fridge a good wipe down. I also wash all the shelves and storage baskets I have in the fridge with some warm washing up water. That way you can just give everything a good thorough clean out.
The last spring cleaning job is to scrub and clean the floor. Firstly, I recommend hoovering up any crumbs to start with, and then I go in and use my trusty bicarb and vinegar mix to scrub the floor with. I actually picked up this bicarb and white vinegar from Wilco. I noticed they were new, so I thought I'd give them a go. I just mix them together to form a paste. And then I use a toothbrush to scrub the paste into the grout on the floor. And then I use a scarab pad to scrub the actual tiles. But before this, I just used the white vinegar to wipe down the skirting. Then I started working my way down the floor, um, scrubbing the tiles. Just be sure to double check what is best to use for your floor if you have different tiles or laminate. Once I had finished scrubbing, I just wiped everything down and hoovered up any mess. And then finally, I used this method all floor cleaner in lemon and ginger to mop up the floor with. Now you don't actually need to mix this with water, you just actually squirt it directly onto the floor and wipe it away. And plus it smells really refreshing and it's just nice and convenient. So guys, thank you so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and you've already started your spring cleaning. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter for more inspiration and look out for some more spring cleaning videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. Also, um, don't forget to check out my previous video, which I'll have linked up on the screen. And have a great start to your week, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care. Bye.